Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook Y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. This is the first grocery video we've had in a while uh, on a Friday. It is actually Friday, so this will be up late today. I'm going to Kroger, try to get a few of their specials. Hopefully they are in stock. Um, don't really have a menu plan, but I do have a question of the day for you. Be sure to stick around for that at the end. The menu is mostly working out of my pantry. If that's something you're interested in, seeing what we have to work with, and some ideas that I have typed up because I still can't write. You would not want to read my writing. It's not legible. I can't even read it. If you're interested in that, I might can work on that in the next week or two. We're still doing an abbreviated schedule with videos because of my hand. It hurts too much to try to edit or type or write. So videos are going to be scarce here for a while still. We appreciate you sticking with us. So I'm headed to Kroger. When I get back, I'll show you the haul and be sure to stick around to the end for a question. I spent more at Kroger today than I have in a long time, but I'm stocking up on some of the three-day sale items as well as some stuff for Father's Day and just some things we had run out of. I tried to separate most of it, this. The Bush's beans were on sale. I did not get the angel food cake. The mayonnaise was on sale. The Hillshire Farm sausage and the creamer. So I got four Bush's grilling beans for 99 cents each and I'm not putting the prices this time. It's just too much work on my hand right now. So the creamer was $1.49. The two mayonnaises, I have to check my receipt, make sure they gave all this to me. I think were the two Kraft mayonnaises were also $1.49. The two Hillshire sausage, I got a turkey and a beef, were $1.88 each. They were also running a two for five on cheese. I ended up with five, so I think I spent $12.50 on cheese, so that was a big part of the bill. I got some shredded Swiss, cheddar, Monterey Jack, some sliced Swiss and sliced provolone. There's some eggs hiding under here. My orange juice, I did not get milk because we stopped at Sam's the other day and I got, I didn't share it with you guys, I got milk, tortillas, a rotisserie chicken and a couple other things. I've got some hot dog buns because I have hot dogs in the freezer. I was almost out of sour cream and I found some Horizon cottage cheese that is good through, I think a week or more from now. So I bought that marked down for $1.75. I also bought marked down two wee petite yogurts for a dollar and I had a coupon and the girl was in a really good mood today. She gave me the 50 cents off. So I got two wee petite yogurts for a quarter each. I am using the last of my free cereal coupons that we won last year. Got another Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I was out of freezer gallon bags, almost out of my favorite Uncle Ben's rice that I always fix when we have tacos. The syrup was a splurge for Tim. It would have been a lot cheaper, I imagine, at Walmart. This log cabin, I tried to find one that had no hot fructose corn syrup. That was $3.79, so that ran my bill up a little. Tim was completely out of sliced jalapenos. I do use bottled lemon juice sometimes. The root beer is for a recipe. A little bit of produce. I went to a farmer's market, shared a picture on Instagram, and I will include that here. So I got some of my produce at a farmer's market. I also got red grapes, which are on sale. Red and white grapes are on sale this week at my Kroger for, for 88 cents. And the strawberries are on sale, two for $3. So I did get some red grapes and some strawberries, some lettuce for the week, onions because I was out, even though I picked up a couple at the farmer's market, one tomato for Tim, a red onion, two lemons for his tea. Instead of a carrot and hummus kick, he is now on a celery and hummus kick or a celery and peanut butter kick. I also got some coleslaw mix, mushrooms. We were almost completely out of tortilla chips, which can't happen, which means we can't have Taco Tuesday. So I got two bags. And the rest of this stuff is all to take Father's Day. We're gonna contribute the stuff to make homemade ice cream along with the rock salt and some nuts, cherries, fudge, and whipped cream topping for Tim's dad for Father's Day. So I don't have a typed out menu for you. I can do a separate video in the coming days. I'll leave a poll if you're interested in seeing my overstocked pantry and freezer and some ideas of things that I'm still trying to cook out of it. If you watched our Trader Joe's video, I've got a lot of things in the freezer now from Trader Joe's I'm going to make. We'll be having a lot of Asian food here in the coming weeks and some other pantry meals. And I forgot this item. 
I did not need mascara again. I tend to always buy it at Kroger because they sent me a coupon. This was $5.99. I should, I believe I had a paper coupon for save $2. Ibotta has a $2.10 rebate. So I think I got this mascara for like $1.75 or $1.80. So that was a good deal. But if you are interested in seeing some menu ideas, I can do a separate video, vote in the poll, and I do have a question for you next. This week's question was inspired by a comment from one of our subscribers, Melanie. Melanie Murphy, thank you. Melanie asked, and we're going to kind of uh, extend it a little. Melanie asked because she noticed, along with a lot of you guys like Billy and a lot of our other subscribers have noticed I have an affinity for Chinese or Asian food. If you watched our Trader Joe's video where I was finally able to set foot and see in a Trader Joe's and see everything with my own eyes, most of what I got from the freezer section was frozen Chinese type items. That is my favorite cuisine. We eat it out whenever Tim is being especially gracious to me, although he does like it. So that's the question. When you eat out Asian and we'll extend it. If you don't like Asian food, pick something else. Do you prefer to eat at a buffet or uh, order from a menu? That's actually a tough question for me. Um, I like both. I like to eat a buffet because I love Asian food and I like to get a bite of this and a taste of that. What I don't like about any buffet is two things. I don't like the quantities. I feel like I need to stuff myself and eat a lot and I don't like the cleanliness or germaphobe or whatever. I, I don't like people sneezing on my food, touching my food. I see kids messing in buffets around here so I'm not a big buffet fan. We normally eat at Chinese restaurants and order off the menu. Tim prefers that but I will take Chinese food any way I can get it. We do eat at other kind of buffets. We live in the most obese state in the nation and believe me there is a lot of all-you-can-eat buffets around here. We try to stay away from them as best we can mostly because you pay all that money you feel like you got to eat to get your money's worth and if you like the food then you're going to overeat so we try to stay steer clear of them and stay away from them but leave us a comment with your answer to this week's question and thank you so much for stopping by and for sticking with us we appreciate it hope you're having a wonderful and truly blessed day see you in the next one